Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss a few more problems to learn how to convert a given reactant to a given product. So, in this question, it has been asked to understand or identify what various reactions will bring about these conversions. So, in the first reaction, what we are doing is we are trying to convert 1 bromopropane to 2 bromopropane. So, if you look at the structure here, you can see that in the reactant you have bromine at C1 carbon atom and in the product you have bromine at C2 carbon atom. So, this conversion can be achieved by first converting this alkyl halide to an alkene followed by Marconi curve addition of HBr. So, let us look at what reagents will help in this conversion that is when this alkyl halide reacts with alcoholic KOS in the presence of heat you get propane as a final product and when this alkene reacts with HBr you get the Marconi curve product where bromine has been attached to that particular carbon atom which has less number of hydrogen atom. In the next reaction the conversion involved is to convert benzyl alcohol to 2 phenyl ethanoic acid. Now again if you look at the two structures you can see that the product has one carbon more than the starting material due to this particular COH group. So we have already seen in the previous reactions that when we need a product with one carbon more than the reactant in that case we employ the reagent KCN that is we need to convert this particular alcohol to cyanide and then hydrolyze it so that CN gets converted directly to COOH. But we also know that OH is a very poor leaving group and it cannot be directly substituted. Therefore, first we need to convert this benzyl alcohol to a benzyl chloride by reacting it with SOCl2. So, what is the advantage of this? Here we are converting OH which is a poor leaving group to chlorine which is a good leaving group so that now it can be easily substituted to case, uh, substituted using KCN in the presence of ETOH in water. So, what happens is that in the presence of alcoholic KCN, CN minus will substitute the Cl and you get benzyl cyanide as the product. Now, all you need to do is simply hydrolyze this benzyl cyanide so that the CN now gets converted to COH giving us a final product. I hope you are clear on how we have achieved this conversion. Here we are converting benzyl alcohol to benzyl chloride so that chlorine can be a very good leaving group as compared to OH and then perform substitution by using alcoholic KCN where we introduce CN moiety. Now all you need to do is simply hydrolyze the CN so as to obtain COOH in that place. Let us go to the next reaction here what is asked is that we need to convert aniline to chlorobenzene that is NH2 has been substituted by chlorine. Here again we know that direct substitution is not possible because NH2 is a very poor leaving group and therefore if we can convert this particular NH2 to a diazonium salt and then perform substitution we will get chlorobenzene as a final product. So we also know that for diazonium salt the requirement is a starting material is a primary aromatic amine which is nothing but aniline here. So let us look at how to attain achieve this conversion. You can see that aniline is treated with NaNO2 with HCl at a temperature of 0 to 5 degrees so that benzene diazonium chloride is obtained. Now this diazonium salt can be easily substituted using CuCl and HCl where N2 plus will get substituted by Cl and giving us chlorobenzene as a final product. Let us now go to the last reaction which is converting 2 chloropropane to 1 propanol. If you look at the reactant and the product you can see that in 2 chloropropane you have chlorine at C2 carbon atom whereas in 1 propanol you have OH at the first carbon atom. In order to achieve this conversion what we need to do is convert this alkyl halide to an alkene followed by anti marconi curve addition of HBr. So what happens is that when we have anti marconi curve product you have a Br at C1 position and since bromine is a very good living group you can simply use aqueous KOH to substitute that bromine and introduce OH at that position. Let us now try to carry out this reaction. So here this alkyl halide undergoes elimination reaction by reacting with alcoholic KOH in the presence of heat giving CH3 CH double bond CH2. Now this alkene reacts with HBr in the presence of peroxide to give anti marconi curve product which is CH3 CH2 CH2 Br. Now simply what we need to do is introduce OH to C1 carbon atom by using aqueous KOH or substituting. 
So when this alkyl halide reacts with aqueous KOH, you get OH at that particular carbon atom, C1 carbon atom. I hope you are very clear on how we have attained this particular conversion that is first we convert it to an alkene followed by anti marconic of addition of HBr where you have alkyl bromide and since bromine is a very good living group you can simply substitute it with aqueous KOH where OH substitutes bromine and attains this position at C1 carbon atom. Thank you.